What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully it's not the first time watching one of my videos, but in case it is, I'm a third year medical student studying King's College London. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys seven tips that I think will really, really help you in terms of your time management skills. For those of you that don't know me, I'm a medical student, a biomedical researcher, YouTuber, business owner, author, and father. And in order to do all of these things, I've had to build a system that allows me to manage my time effectively. And by the way, I'm only joking, I'm not a father. <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that in there. And I should also mention that I'm not a freak. Uh, these tips I'm gonna be giving you uh, only apply to my work life, not my normal social life. So I just thought I'd let you guys know. But without further ado, let's get started. The first tip that I have for you in terms of managing your time is to be very intentional and deliberate with your time. What I mean by that is make sure that you know how you're spending every single hour of your day and make sure you're very intentional with where you spend your work and when you relax as well. What I personally do is use Google Calendar. So on my Google Calendar, every single day, uh, I write in exactly how I'll be spending each hour. Sometimes I record it down to the uh, half an hour as well. I make sure that I know exactly where I'll be spending my time in the entire day. And some of my friends do laugh at me. Uh, sometimes I'm in the library and I literally like writing a list down of exactly how I wanna spend each hour of the rest of the day. It can seem a bit OCD, but that's one way that has really helped me manage my time. The second tip that I have for you guys is to plan your day the night before you go to bed. The main reason for this is that before you actually start your day, you already have an idea or a plan about how you're gonna be productive and how you're gonna use your time. The second reason that this is really helpful for is that it gives you an incentive to wake up. What I've found in my past is on the days that I don't plan my next day, um, I can decide to wake up half an hour later because I think that I have not much work to do. And then once I actually start the day, I realize that I have so, so much work to catch up on. So plan your day the night before you go to bed, uh, before actually starting your day has been an absolute game changer for me. The third tip I have for you guys is to become a weekly planner. What I mean by this is to set aside time a weekly about the things that you want to be consistent with. Our society is normally really, really good at day planning. They always support planning the things you have to do day by day. And while this is really good for you know normal tasks that you have to do during the day, it's not very good with planning the things that you want to do consistently. So as an example for me, before I even start the week, every single Sunday, I already know that every single day I'll set aside an hour to go to the gym and work on my health. I already know that uh, on Wednesday evenings, I'll be recording a video. I know that Tuesday mornings, um, I'll be setting aside time for, to work on my research. So before even starting the week, I already have hour slots or two hour slots for the things that I know that I just have to do. As well as using weekly planning, I also use daily planning as well. So, you know, day to day, I do write down the things I wanna do uh, during that day, but I already know a week in advance the things that I just have to have to do and I wanna be consistent with uh, in my planner. And where I actually learned this from was one of my favorite books of all time called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And I really wanna read this quote out for you guys really quickly. It says that, Organizing on a weekly basis provides much greater balance and context than daily planning. There seems to be implicit cultural recognition of the week as a single complete unit of time. Business, education, and many other facets of society operate within the framework of the week, designating certain days for focused investment and others for relaxation or inspiration. The basic Judeo-Christian ethic honors the Sabbath, the one day out of every seven set aside for uplifting purposes. Most people think in terms of weeks, but most third generation planning tools focus on daily planning. While they may help you prioritize your activities, they basically only help you organize crises and busy work. The key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule, but to schedule your priorities. And this can best be done in the context of the week. So long story short, trying to plan out the things you wanna do in the context of a week is another really key to being efficient with your time. For the fourth tip, um, as I said, in terms of weekly planning, I also implement daily planning. So you may have seen in my study with me videos or my day in the life with me vlogs, as soon as I start the morning on my desk, the first thing that I do is bring out a pen and paper and write down all of the little tasks that I also want to accomplish during the day. And that combined with weekly planning has completely changed the game for me. The next tip that I have for you is to have a schedule for how you work. What I mean by this is for me personally, uh, from 9 a.m. in the morning up until 9 p.m. in the evening, during those 12 hours of the day, I will be completely consistent, sat at my desk or doing something productive to further my future. Nine to nine is normally during exam period. If I'm not during exam period and it's just like normal term time, it's normally around nine to 6.37 ish, where during those hours of the day, I know for a fact I'll be sat down doing something productive and contributing to my future. So have a schedule for how you work and try to find the hours that work for you. You know, some people might want to start 
start at midday and work a bit later or start a bit earlier and finish a bit earlier. Find a schedule uh, of working that works for you uh, personally. The next tip that I have for you that kind of goes hand in hand with the very first tip of being intentional and deliberate with your time is to make sure you time your work and your breaks. Um, it really is easy to start having a break. Um, you know, you start off with like a five minute break and that ends up being an hour and a half like Netflix chilling session. I know that happens because it happens to me sometimes. Uh, so make sure that you plan your breaks. It's also equally easy to um, work for, for such a long time and completely uh, forget to take a break. So planning your work and your breaks is really important. The method that I use to do that is to use an app called uh, Forest. You guys may have seen this on my Study With Me vlogs, but as soon as I start working throughout the day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., I always, always have one of these Forest apps on to remind me to, uh, to go back to work or to go have a break. And that has been really helpful for me. The next and probably the most important tip is to keep a record of every single thing that you need to get done and organize the things that you need to get done, uh, i.e. your to-do list, into different categories as well. So for me, I use an app called TickTick. Tick. This is really, really good because it allows me to separate my life into my medicine responsibilities, uh, my research responsibilities, the YouTube responsibilities, my general life responsibilities. Um, I literally categorize all of the things I need to get done into these different categories, which is really, really nice because if I find that I have maybe an hour or a half an hour here to spare during the day, the first thing I do is to pick up my phone uh, and go onto this list and see um, what I could actually uh, spend my time productively doing. And similarly, if I'm going about my day and I realize that, oh, I need to get this thing done. I really, really have to get this thing done. I put up my TikTok -tick app straight away and I'll type it in straight away to make sure that what I think of in that moment uh, will get done for sure. Because the only way to make sure that you actually do something is to have it written down somewhere to remind you to do it in the future. The good thing about this app is that it works on my phone and it also works on my Mac. So whether I'm on my phone or I'm on my Mac working, I have access to all of the things that I need to get done in my life. The last sort of tip that I have for you guys is, uh, yeah, to be honest with you, taking on all these responsibilities has meant that I don't necessarily have as much time for Netflix anymore. I don't have as much time to just chill uh, as much as I used to. And to, yeah, to be quite honest, unless I'm with my friends, I rarely do these things anymore. You don't necessarily have to do this. It's just something that I've uh, decided to do uh, in order to make space for everything else that I want to do in my life. And the good thing is that if you do become more productive with your time, you can definitely make space to bring things like Netflix or whatever you like doing uh, while chilling back into your schedule and back into what you want to do. So this last tip is to basically consider the things where you're spending um, a lot of your time on, whether that be like Netflix or YouTube. Uh, okay, not YouTube, you're watching me right now uh the netflix or doing stuff that may not necessarily be productive to your future do kind of take these into account and think about whether or not you you want to be doing these things you know is it the right time to be uh watching netflix right now if you have an exam coming around the corner and also if you really want to do these things what you can do as well is to have maybe your screen uh, split into have YouTube on one side and have your work on the other side so you can get both things done and productively chill. So for me, as an example, as I'm gonna be editing this video, I'm definitely gonna have um, the editing software on half my screen and have a Netflix on the other half so I can watch a movie or watch what I wanna watch while also being productive with my time. So those are the main tips that have allowed me to become uh, extremely productive with my time and do all these things I love doing. I really hope that it allows you to do the same thing as well. If you found this video useful, please make sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up as well. And leave a comment down below about what you think about uh, these tips I've given you or any tips that you might have for me and everyone else about how you can manage your time more effectively. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.